G'day everyone, today we're looking at vMix overlays. Overlays are a simple and easy way to quickly add content to your production. You can use overlays to add lower third titles, picture-in-picture -picture videos, HTML graphics, and logos. Or you might just want to add three spinning donuts for some reason. You may also know these as downstream keys or DSKs. It's basically something that is overlaid onto your final production before it is sent out. Now, if you'd like to follow along, you can download our free 60-day trial at vmix.com. I have a simple production set up here with some content that I'll need to display as overlays. Now that we're in the interface, you'll see that there are some numbers underneath each input. These are your overlay channels. By pressing one of these buttons, the input is put into that overlay channel. For example, I'm gonna click on the little one below our title, and you'll see that it's overlaid full screen onto our program output for all the world to see. So here's my title here. You can see the little number one. I'm gonna click on that and it's going to overlay on our program output. And as you can see, it's turned green to indicate that it's in overlay channel one. Now overlays can be configured to show a picture in picture as well. So I've made my second overlay channel a picture in picture in the top corner. By clicking number two underneath the petrol cam right here, the little number two here, it's going to be displayed in the top corner, like so. Now, if I wanna take this out of that overlay channel, I just need to click that little number again, like so. So you might have a production with a lot of different inputs, a lot of different overlays using shortcuts, and you might not quite be sure if there's something in an overlay channel or what it is. You can use the indicator in the center to see if there is an overlay channel that's currently being used, and you can switch them all off by clicking the button here. So I know that I've got overlay channel one being used by my title, but I can go ahead and turn it off by clicking it here as well. Since vMix 29, there has been eight overlay channels. If you have a version prior to this, you'll only see four overlay channels. And if you have basic HD, you'll just see the one. Now we're going to take a look at the overlay settings and set them up how we want for our production. So we need to head down to the bottom right of the vMix interface and click on overlay. Your overlay settings will allow you to set up all your different overlays and also stingers as well. So up the top here, we'll see the number of the overlay channel. Now, if you remember before, overlay channel one was a full screen overlay for my lower third GT title. So that was in number one. The type was a full screen because all of our GT titles are full screen. So when you overlay them, it covers the entire screen. The effect we have set up is a cut. Now, the reason we use a cut it means that it's an instant transition to the title. Now the GT titles have animations built into them. So if we use a cut, it's going to automatically overlay the title and then go through the animations that are assigned to that particular title. You can make changes here to a different transition, for example, a fade if you wanted to, and then you can set the effect duration underneath that to say half a second, a second, two seconds, depending on how many milliseconds that is. So if I wanted to make it a fade for two seconds, I would select 2000 here. Now, the reason that we set it to cut for the GT titles is that if we use a fade, you're gonna miss out some of the transition effects. So if it's a two second fade and the transition effects where the cool spinny thing happens, you're not gonna see it properly. So we set that to a cut for our GT titles. Now, underneath that, the effect duration is ignored if you set it to cut because it's going to be zero because it's an instant transition. Okay, underneath that we have the duration. Now the duration is the amount of time that the overlay will display on the screen. So if it's zero, it means that you're manually toggling that on and off. So let's just say we wanna have our lower thirds last for three seconds. I'm gonna make that 3000 milliseconds. So it will stay on the screen for that long and then it will transition away. Underneath that you'll see stinger input and stinger cut point. You don't need to worry about those because this is a title, not a stinger. Underneath that, you'll see alpha. So you can set the transparency of your overlay if you want. I'm not going to do that because I want it to be seen full screen without any issues. Underneath that, you'll see a screen that allows you to set up your picture in picture settings and your border. Those are grayed out because we've got a full screen option here and it's not picture in picture. All right, so as a quick recap, our overlay channel one is a full screen overlay. It's going to cut, which means it's going to be a direct transition. It's going to ignore the effect duration because it's a cut. 
The duration is three seconds. So it's going to last three seconds on the screen and then transition away. And then the rest of the stuff we don't need to worry about. So when you're done with your settings, make sure that you click OK down the bottom to save those. And now we're going to go to our lower third again, and we're gonna click on the little one to put it in overlay channel one. It's gonna last three seconds and then it's going to be removed from the screen. So let's click one. As you can see, it's now overlaid and it's going to remove after three seconds. Okay, so that is how we set up a full screen. Now we're going to do picture in picture. So head back to the overlay section and then go up to the number and we're just going to quickly go to number two. So number two is what I showed you before with the picture in picture of the petrol camera in the top right hand corner. As you can see here, I've got it set to picture in picture and I've got it set to a particular location down the bottom here. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up from scratch now as you might wanna do that yourself. So I'm going to go up to the number here and I'm going to select number three. You can set any of these, it doesn't really matter what number you use. Okay, underneath that, we've got type. So we wanna make this a picture in picture. So we're going to select picture in picture. Now for the effect, because our picture in picture won't typically have any animation involved with it because it's not a GT title, it doesn't have them built in. I'm just gonna go with a simple fade. So then I'm going to set the effect duration. Let's make it one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. So that's how long it will take to fade up. And for the picture in picture, I want it to, I want it to stay up there for five seconds. Now, again, if you wanted to be manually toggling this, you would set this duration to zero. Underneath that, we don't have to worry about stinger, cut point. We don't need to worry about the alpha either as well, because we don't want it to be have any transparency. Now that we've got the picture in picture option selected, you'll notice that the boxes down here are now available to use. So on the right here, the red represents where the overlay channel is going to be and the size of it. And on the left here, we can go ahead and make changes to the size of the box by using these sliders X, Y. We can zoom, we can change the rotation on the X, Y, and Z axes. We can add a border to it. Now, if you wanna do it quickly, you can just use the mouse click to move it around on this side here. And you can hold down the shift key and then use the left mouse click to slide in and out to change the zoom as well. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm just going to move it in the top, well, let's go to the bottom corner like so. Now I'm going to add a border to this one. So let's go ahead and add an amazing border to it. And then let's change the thickness to 50 to do the trick. All right, so now as a recap, we have a picture in picture it's in number three for our overlay channels. It is going to fade up. It's gonna take a second to fade up and a second to fade down when the transition's away. The duration is going to be five seconds. So it's gonna stay on the screen for five seconds and then be removed. And then down here, we've got the location of the picture in picture and we have a bright green border at 50 pixels. All right, so now I'm gonna click okay to save that like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to this news alert video right here and we're gonna put it in overlay channel three. So it's gonna appear in the bottom corner and then it's gonna fade away. So there we go, we have a news alert, everybody, a news alert, and uh, now it's faded away. Overlays will display based on the number order. So overlay channel one will be at the very bottom and overlay channel eight will be displayed over the top of everything below it. So eight will be on top, then seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So keep that in mind if you have any that are overlapping. Vmix allows you to help automate and make your productions easier by using shortcuts and triggers. So you can use a shortcut to quickly put a particular input into an overlay channel by pressing an X key, Stream Deck, MIDI controller, or something like that. So all you need to do is press a button and it's gonna put it in there. It just makes things a little bit easier and more streamlined. So now I'm gonna show you how to use an overlay in a shortcut right now. So we need to go up to the settings section in the top right hand corner and then go down to shortcuts. Then we need to just click add to add a new shortcut. Now I'm going to use the space key. So I'm just going to click find, hit the space bar and then click okay. So just gonna use that for an example, but you can use Stream Dex, X keys or any other sort of controller that works with vMix. Now for the function, I'm gonna use the drop down menu here. Now there is an overlay section to make it a little bit easier. And you can see all the different overlay options that we have for the different overlay channels to put them, toggle them on, off, in, out, last, on, off, zoom, uh, all that kind of stuff. They're all available here for all of the different channels. 
I'm going to simply just use overlay channel one today just to make it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to select overlay input one, which is the toggle on and off of the overlay. So I'm going to select it here. And you can see here it says toggle overlay one on off with selected input using configured transition. So for the input, I'm going to go back to my lower third title and use that for the shortcut. I'm going to select it. Underneath the input section, you'll see a mix option. Now vMix allows you to have the main production mix, which is your main program output, but it also allows you to have many submixes as well. So mini productions within your vMix production. And you can actually apply overlays to those mixes and not to your main program output. So you can kind of create separate productions with separate stingers and overlays on those mixes instead of your main output. Now, feel free to check out our mix video if you want to know a little bit more about how to create mini productions within your main vMix production. So by default, this is going to be on mix one because that's our main production output. And most people want to use your overlays on your main output. So I'm just going to leave that as one. But there are many different options here for mixes. Underneath that, you'll see title. So let's just call this lower third to give it a name so we remember it. Now the display, I'm going to leave this as a default. But if you were using the Stream Deck or the Web Controller, you could set this to thumbnail to see it as an option. Then I'm going to click Local Shortcut here. And then I'm going to click OK. But before I do, let's just do a quick rundown. The Space button will overlay into channel one, our lower third on our main mix. It's called lower third, and we've got it set to our local shortcut, and we're going to click OK down the bottom. As you can see, it's now appeared in our shortcut list, and I'm going to click OK. So I've got my keyboard here ready to go. All I need to do is press the space bar, and it will overlay my lower third into overlay channel one. I think that was set to three seconds before. So it's just going to be up there for three seconds, and then it will fade away. So let's just press the space bar here. There we go. It's going to overlay and then it's going to remove. So that's it, that's how you can use it with shortcuts. Another useful feature in vMix for overlays is the triggers. And triggers allow you to perform a function in vMix when something happens in your production. For example, when you transition a camera, you can automatically overlay a title if you like. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a trigger now for overlays. So I'm going to go to Petrol Cam Run, I'm gonna click on the little gear icon down here, and then I'm gonna to go to the triggers section. Now what we wanna do is when our Petrol cam transitions to the program output. I want it to display the petrol cam title. So let's go to this trigger menu here and select on transition in. And then what I want to do is click on the functions and go to the overlay section. And then what I want to do is just have it overlay input one, like we had before, where it's going to overlay a lower third into the main overlay input one channel, which is full screen for three seconds. Then I'm going to go to the Petrol cam title, which is another lower third, our GT title, select that. And then I can select the delay, like how long it's gonna take for it to appear on the screen. So I wanna just give it, let's say two second delay, which is 2000 milliseconds. And then I want that to be on mix one. So I'm gonna click add over here. So now we've got a trigger set up for an overlay to display after two seconds. So what we're gonna do now is just close this down all right, so let's try this out now. What I'm going to do is transition to my petrol camera and it's going to overlay my title automatically. So let's go ahead and transition this over. As you can see, it's gonna wait a little while. We set that delay. It's going to display the title and then it's going to be removed. Are eight overlays not enough? Well, if that's the case, you can always create a blank input in vMix and then layer multiple inputs on top of that and then overlay that input. For example, I have this too many cooks one down here. And what I want to do is just overlay that. And that's got multiple inputs on it that I've got in my production. And then I can also continue to use a different overlay channel if I want to bring in my lower thirds as well. So that's only using two channels out of the eight. Something that I forgot to mention before about the picture in picture is that you can use vMix to zoom in on a picture in picture to full screen. So I'll show you what that looks like by going to this news alert video here. I'm going to put it in overlay channel eight which is a picture in picture right there. And what I'm going to do is right click on the eight while it's active and it's going to go full screen. And then I can right click on it again to bring it back. So that works handy for cameras or videos that you want to sort of show full screen temporarily before you know, you're not actually using it as the main part of your production, but you just want to temporarily show it full screen. Another option is that you can preview your overlays. So if I right click 
on the news alert video here. When it's not active, it will appear in the preview side of things. And then when I transition that over, it will take that overlay and play that as well. So now that I've taken that, it's now moved it across. And also my trigger overlay has appeared as well. So then I can just remove it when I need to. If you're using HTML graphics, you can use a dedicated overlay channel for that particular web browser input. And that way, when you're pushing any of your graphics live into vMix, the channel is always on and you'll be able to see those graphics. So as you can see down here, I've got my HTML Uno overlay here dedicated on channel seven. So when I push it live, it's always going to appear when I need it. So like so. So that's something that people do. They'll just dedicate one of those channels to a HTML graphic that they know they're always going to be using. Overlays are typically used for creating a, a channel for specific things. So picture in pictures always go in this corner, lower thirds are always full screen, but you can dedicate them for specific things like HTML graphics or bugs or something. It's totally up to you how you wanna use them. If you do wanna just add a layer to a camera shot permanently, you can do that using layers. So if I go to the gear icon in the camera here, go down to a layer and I can just add a layer to it. Let's just pick my too many cooks. So now I permanently have all of these layers on this camera, but I can also use my lower thirds as well, all my overlay channels, yeah, like so. If you have any questions about vMix or overlays, please send us an email via the support page on www.vmixfullstop.com. We also have plenty of extra videos on titles, layers, mixes, shortcuts, dynamic shortcuts, and triggers linked in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.